So what's up guys, it's your girl. Okay, and I'm back with another video. I hope y'all been enjoying my videos lately. I'm downtown Brooklyn. Look at downtown Brooklyn, guys. Downtown Brooklyn. Downtown Brooklyn. Oh, I'm downtown Brooklyn right now. Trying to get things situated for Carol Birthday. I have to come pick up his shirt. Um, and oh my god, this place smells mega. It's a hot dog stand. Actually, should I stop or what? Yeah, I think I want to hot dog. But anyways, yeah, I had to stop and pick up Carol's shirt, guys. I heard that this was a great hot dog stand, but I'm kind of nervous. Let me see. Yeah, I beat it. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want any seats right now. Thank you. What's the name of this place, guys? It's called Frankfurters Downtown Brooklyn. Frankfurters. Look at these buildings too. They put mad high rises up. Anyways, look. Let me give y'all a little quick tour. Look a quick tour. They got cookies. They got Primark. They got Target. All oh, these stores. Downtown is not the same anymore. If you're from Brooklyn, New York, you know, you know, you know. This Frankfurters have been here for years. I heard they got some good Franks. I'm about to see now. I may want a sausage actually. But yeah, guys, um, so I got my hot dog. I got Carol's shirt in this box that I had to come pick up. My boy, my boy, man. All right, and I'm going to the car. So I'm going to chat with y'all when I get to the car. I don't know why it looks kind of blurry. Let me fix my um thing. Hold on. Yeah, much better, guys. Much clear. So basically, my screen was just blurry. So that's probably why my footage was blur blurry before. But anyways, this is downtown amazing 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 i'm hoping i don't get a ticket i'm gonna take y'all along with me to see if i got a ticket guys because i genuinely parked and i had to run in there real quick okay no ticket success but yeah downtown used to be my old stomping grounds after school me and my friends used to come downtown and just chill now it's kind of too ginger hard for me they still got i hop over there and a bunch of housing i'm realistically um unrealistic prices i meant yeah so if you're in new york city and you're looking for an apartment and you got millions and millions of dollars downtown has a lot of buildings available all right so like i was telling you if y'all got a bunch of money and you're looking for a place in new york city downtown brooklyn got a bunch of of apartments i'm seeing i don't know when they became available but it's like magic anyways yeah this hot dog is slamming i always see people standing over there and i never stop but like now like well let's give it a buck it was three dollars though little hot dog <sighs> i'm finally back home guys and i got the shirt and i'm on my way in the house finally honestly i feel exhausted i was falling asleep sitting up though in the house before I went outside. And now I'm back. And now I can actually fall asleep. But anyways, I'll hit you back. Ow! Ow! I'm Nice, Tommy. <laughs> nice, Tommy. Nice. Nice, Tommy. Nice. 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 <laughs> oh. Nice. Just say nice. Yo. Guys, when I tell you Tommy is too through, shorty watching TV, dozing off, I am dead. But anyways, I am so happy and I do not have any regrets. I'm so happy I got my baby boy dog. You see, he has somebody to play with and he's having a time of his life. What's up, guys? So listen, I tried this. I told you I was going to let y'all know how this tastes. The rolled oats from Trader Joe's. So I tried pumpkin, almond butter, and vanilla, right? I do not like vanilla, almond butter, and pumpkin. I typically do not, do not, do not, do not like 
um, oats because I don't like that, like that it has that aftertaste. But I said it's rolled oats and it's overnight, so maybe it's soft. <laughs> yeah, when some pumpkin is not it. I'm gonna tell you that now. And I don't even know if it's the pumpkin that's not it. First of all, it has no sugar. Um, but also, I just don't like the fact that um, I can taste those oats still. It tastes like pumpkin pie without sugar. Added oats. That's what it tastes like. So let's taste this vanilla one. So this is the vanilla. Stir it up. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, guys. I don't like it. It's too oaty. Oh, the vanilla tastes actually good. If you throw some sugar and chocolate. I think the reason why I'm not a fan is because I'm not used to eating cold oats. Yeah, no, I, it's not for me. The aftertaste. The flavor, I would say this. And this is the almond butter. I would say this. The flavor is good, but the actual taste, texture, and the fact that it tastes unsweet, unsweetened, is nasty to me. Hold on. Now, this almond butter. The last one was vanilla. Did I say vanilla or almond butter? The last one was vanilla. This almond butter one, I'm going to taste right now and let you know. Um, this one, I don't know if it's because it's almond butter, but it's the texture is more thick and I don't, it's not so oaty. So maybe I'll like this one. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, you can barely see the oats in here. The rest of them, you can see like a ton of oats. Let me just make sure this not expired. All right, yeah. Cause it look, the texture looks, looks way different, but I guess because almond butter is thick. What? Guys, I don't know if you're an old person. If you're an old person, if you're a non-sweet person, you're probably gonna like it. This is not it for me. Waste of my time, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's didn't do a bad job. My taste buds did a bad job. Let me put it like that. I'm not a fan, guys. Um, I tried, and that just means I'm gonna be hungry for the rest of the day because I use this as my breakfast for today because I thought that it would actually be good. But that's what I get for trying something for the first time and using it as breakfast. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, I told you I was gonna do that video. Um, I didn't start work yet because my day haven't started yet. I got here early enough to record, so yeah. Um, I just wanted to update y'all on a few things. So, um, yeah, Tommy, thank y'all for the comments. He's very, very, very wonderful and sweet. I'm trading him right now. So, like any other puppy, it's a lot of work. Um, and especially since he can't go outside yet until he's fully vaccinated. So, that part is like, ah. Um, but, like anything else, it'll get easier over time. It's actually not as bad as it was when I had my first puppy, I think, because one, I planned for it. But he also just has, I just, I have, I'm in a different space in life um, right now in terms of like, I have a schedule, a set schedule, and I'm not running with my head chopped off. So I think that's another reason why it's like falling into place. Um, guys, I do appreciate the likes, the comments. I thank y'all for the support. And even for those who came from Jasmine channel, like to show some love, I thank y'all, I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, your girl is working. I'm about to start work soon today is hump day and i am like overwhelmed already but i'm trying to motivate myself how do y'all motivate yourself on hump day like how do y'all get yourself past through the rest of the week like what do y'all tell yourself like you know what i'm saying what do y'all tell yourself because me i try to wake up and say you know what and then guess what guys carol made it 10 times harder for me today because he was actually crying for me this morning normally he just cries because like he won his sh stroller instead of walking because the boy lazy or he'll cry because he want chocolate milk or something like that he don't really cry but when he really wants something like for example he don't he won't say he's hungry but he'll want milk instead because he has no patience so to eat when he's hungry he don't want that he want to go go um gobble down milk and so i guess it fills his tummy so like but he don't really cry unless he really hurts himself or unless he's really hungry and don't know how to communicate it this morning he was crying for me and i was like all right I already don't want to be at work. 
I already am not feeling this today. I'm not, I don't know, my energy is not there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna hype myself up so I can get through today. My boy's birthday is this week. My boy's birthday is Friday. I'm gonna hype myself up and tell myself that like, yeah, we're gonna have a lit weekend. So you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Three more days, you know what I'm saying? Today and then two more days after today. So whatever y'all do to hype yourself up in the middle of the week, let me know because I'm gonna start doing it too. Cause your girl is just not hype. My head just look crazy. I don't know, I even threw my hair up today. I was just like, you know what, I don't know. I got on some full colors, I'm in a full spirit or whatever. But um, yeah, nah, um, guys, I'm not feeling it today. So tell me what you do in the middle of the week to help you get through your hump week, because your girl is out of it. Another thing is, since these rolled oats are not it, what do y'all suggest that I eat as quick fixes for breakfast? Because I want to keep and eat my breakfast, but honestly, I've been eating cream cheese with turkey bacon, a bagel with cream cheese and turkey bacon, literally since i started work i was like fixated on that one thing and then my stomach started to bubble and i was like yeah now nah, i gotta find something new too much too much cheese but anyways let me know what y'all do to get through your work week let me know what y'all eat in the morning that's quick breakfast um options and let me know how you're feeling comment down in that comment below comment down in that comment section below comment down in that comment section let me stop comment down in that comment section below though like so um i want to know what are y'all doing to get through your work week what are y'all eating you know what i'm saying when y'all got kids and y'all gotta fix your kids food i got kids now you know what i'm saying tommy is a kid i gotta fix his food i gotta fix carol food i gotta you know what i'm saying get them ready for work i mean i gotta get ready for work i gotta get him ready for school um and it's just a struggle so what are y'all doing to get y'all through you know what i'm saying but anyways, I hope y'all enjoying this video. Like, comment, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Tell a friend to tell a friend that your girl is still here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you click that notification bell so y'all know when your girl is posting. Also, tell a friend to tell a friend that join this quick case for our journey. I hope y'all been enjoying my videos. This video, I'm sorry I talked a lot and I ain't having much motion. But the next videos y'all see, it's gonna be a lot of motion. It's gonna be a lot of motion. Let me stop. Nah, but honestly, guys, I'm gonna hit y'all back. Holla at your girl.